Okay, we have a balloon here. A balloon is rising up along the axis of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 20 meter. A T cosy a small particle is dropped from the balloon. When balloon was at height of 15 meter from the mirror and moving up with speed 20 meter per second. Find the velocity of image of particle at T equal to four seconds formed by the spherical mirror. Okay, now what is the state of mirror? Mirror is at rest. I think there's a very important condition. Mirror will be attached. The balloon is ascending. So what is the method here? You go back to the kinematics. Like if a balloon is ascending, then if I drop a particle due to inertia of motion, the particle will also have the velocity of the balloon. So what is the velocity of this uh, particular particle? Should, should be that of the velocity of balloon. And where, where that partic particle is there at a distance of 15 meter. Okay, now at t equal to four seconds, after t equal to four seconds, find the velocity of image of the particle at t equal to four seconds. At t equal to four seconds, we should know where the particle is and where, where the object is. We, are, we should calculate its corresponding image. Then we should substitute here. Okay, let's get into the kinematics first. First, what is the path of the particle? How do it will move? The path of particle will be I don't know whether it will ascend or uh, where the position. Let's. So here initially, this was the thing. The particle it is having velocity u b at t equals zero. After four seconds, so here gravity will be present. Due to gravity, it will undergo retardation. So if I apply the formulas, velocity of the particle. Particle means I'll write. <coughs> uh, u naught will write it. This be better symbol. Velocity of the particle v is equal to mm -hmm. vp. Vp is better to take this one. Yeah. Velocity of particle. All all small letters will use vp is equal to up minus gt. So what is the velocity of the balloon due to inertia motion? That'll be the velocity of particle. Velocity of balloon was twenty, so velocity of particle will be twenty. <laughs> Uh, up velo initial velocity of particle should be called initial velocity of the balloon that of initial velocity of balloon due to inertia of motion why, why do this so uh, i think uh, you you have to go back to the kinematics there are so many numericals is what you might have come across if any if any frame is moving with a certain if a system is moving with a certain velocity and if any object is released from that particular frame the object is going to have the velocity of frame that's what you have so what is the frame frame is a balloon here and the object is the particular particle so what is the velocity of the particle that should be the velocity of the balloon minus 10 into this is 4 so minus 20 meter per second. So what do you mean by negative sign? At that instant, the particle will be moving vertically down. It will be having a velocity directed vertically down. So it should be exactly at this position. This should be the velocity of particle. How do we can say it will be there only? Okay, we'll do one thing. Uh, like a, <coughs> what is the time? Four seconds. I will calculate the displacement of particle up t minus gt square. I think this will help us a lot. Initial speed of the particle 20 after 4, 10, 4 square. This will be 80. So after 4 seconds, what will be the displacement of particle? Will be 0. So the particle should be again at the same position. Means in t equal to four seconds, the particle will ascend, <coughs> then descend, and finally will come back to the same position. Our problem has become very simple now. 
uh, with what is the speed of the particle 20 meter per second now he's asking to get the velocity of image so what is the formula for velocity of image vi should be equal to minus of magnification square into vo velocity of object is velocity of particle here <coughs> this will become object no so that will become vp only we don't know magnification what to call how to get the magnification so at t equal to 4 second this is t equal to 0 4 seconds so we'll calculate the magnification for this particular position so here magnification let let me work out here corner uh, i think if you can remember this formula magnification is equal to f by f minus u what is the focal length or or, or i'll i'll will will work out what is their mirror formula object distance minus 15 focal length of mirror 10 meter here here 20 meter radius of curvature r by 2 will be focal length minus 10 so v should be equal to minus 30 magnification equal to minus v by u minus 2 so let me substitute here What is the velocity VO should be equal to VP? This will become object, no? After four seconds, what is the velocity of object is what? We took it as 20 meter is what we have. So I'll write it 20 meter. So this will become 80 meter per second. <coughs> now what does it mean? Like negative sign we have to interpret no look at the where, where is the object object what is the radius of curvature 20 meter so object is between the focus here here look at this one and somewhere here center of curvature look at this object no if object moves towards focus Then what about the image? Image should move away, away from focus, no? So the velocity of image, where the image will be located, image will be at a distance 30 centimeter. I should indicate it will be beyond, no? Here, here. This will be the image and it will be moving like this. Now some rough diagram. There's a meaning of interpretation of sign. velocity of object what is vi velocity of image the balloon will be continuously ascending we are not bothered balloon uh, once the particle detaches there is no need of balloon 